Hey everyone, welcome to my week 11 <laughs> pregnancy update. So if you watched my previous pregnancy update, I think I was eight weeks pregnant and I was like, I'm gonna do these every week. And cause I, that's what I do with my last two pregnancies. And now I'm 11 weeks pregnant and <laughs> I haven't done another update since now. So sorry about that. Um, things have been hectic around here. As you can see, I actually have furniture now. <laughs> we got our furniture in from our old house and so I was kind of waiting on that. And to be to truth to be told, I've just been- Hello YouTube! Stop! <laughs> That's not funny! Hi YouTube! Uh, come on. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Anthony came in the room. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, I have been feeling horrible. I mean, just like nauseous. Oh my goodness. Anthony keeps interrupting me. He just called me and he's just downstairs. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying before I keep getting interrupted, I'm not feeling well. I'm nauseous and therefore I don't want to record videos, but here I am 11 weeks and I'm making a video for you. So enough with the excuses. Um, let's just talk about 11 weeks and I'll probably touch on like nine and 10 as well. Um, but right now the baby is the size of a fig, which I don't eat figs, so I don't know how big that is, but it's the size of a fig. And basically like the toes aren't webbed anymore, the teeth buds are hardened, I think. Um, the eyes are like shut. Um, the eyelids are formed, I think. So just stuff like that. But how I've been, so like I said, I've been nauseous. I have my good and bad days. Some days, like I've had one or two days here where like I wasn't nauseous at all and it was just like mind blowing. I thought something was wrong. But then the next day I was just nauseous again. Some days I'm nauseous all day. Some days I'm just nauseous like, usually this is what it is. I'm just nauseous from like, afternoon like mid or late afternoon on usually by the time I go to bed every night I am nauseous so I'm still taking the same medications I'm doing the b6 and the unisom at night together I don't know if they're helping or not I don't know what I would feel like without them and I'm scared to not take them so I'm just continuing to take them at night um, I will say for the first time ever in all three of my pregnancies, I have thrown up. I never did it with my first two pregnancies and this one I finally threw up and it was kind of a fluke, I'll tell you. I was feeling nauseous that whole day. I went and did my nighttime routine and the B6 vitamins that I have, I hate. They're these huge white pills and they're not coated at all so they're very hard to go down and I was taking my pills like I always do and I took it and it got stuck in my throat I just must not have opened my throat enough and so then of course I just wanted to get it out by puking it up and then I just kept puking so that was that was lovely so yeah first experience with that but honestly after I puked I felt so much better <laughs> of course the next day I was nauseous again but I felt so much better that night after I had puked yeah that happened that happened at like nine or ten weeks it's, it's been a couple weeks since that happened um but yeah so still feeling nauseous i'm hoping i'm rounding the corner of being done it seems like when i'm around other people and my mind is off being pregnant i tend to forget i'm nauseous and then i don't feel nauseous it's just like when i'm alone or bored and i'm thinking about pregnancy it's like i almost can't even go on my pregnancy app i have like baby center app and it has like pregnancy stuff but it's like I can't even go on that app because then it makes me think about pregnancy and then I just think about how nauseous I am and then I'm just miserable so it's kind of it's kind of horrible um basically every time dinner rolls around I don't want to eat dinner because I'm just nauseous I do good for breakfast I do good for lunch and then dinner I just like don't want to eat and then of course if I don't eat then I'm just feeling horrible the rest of the day so then I have to force myself to eat but if you've ever been nauseous Forcing yourself to eat and then continuing to be nauseous after you eat. It's very hard to make yourself keep eating. That's been really hard. <laughs> um, I don't think I've really gained any weight. If, in fact, I feel like I've lost weight. I weighed myself the other day and I was like at 125 
And I feel like when I started this pregnancy, I was not, I was more than that, but I don't know. So yeah, the nausea has not been fun. Other than nausea, um, I don't remember if I talked about this in my last video, but ever since like week seven or eight, I've just been dealing with acne breakouts like crazy all over my face. And I can't remember if that's happened with my last two pregnancies, but I feel like if it did, I would have remembered it. And yeah, so I've been dealing with that just all the time, all over my face. So I have been dealing with that. Usually when I'm pregnant I get nosebleeds it's like the only time in my life that I get them have not had that so far and also my previous pregnancies I usually get like so much saliva that it's like hard to brush my teeth haven't had that problem either so that's been good I have a huge belly right now and the blow is just crazy this third pregnancy i mean i feel like i look so much more pregnant than i am that i just like this is such a baggy shirt i just wear the most baggiest clothes because if i don't then i look like either i i don't even feel like i look pregnant i just look like overweight so i'm just like very self-conscious about my belly right now and it's just huge like they say the more times you're pregnant the more like your body just remembers and like balloons out and it's so true like my body is just my belly is just huge right now so yeah that's been kind of different i feel like my boobs have grown bigger they're not so tender anymore which is super nice but i do feel like they're bigger which makes sense i have been getting headaches here and there, like sometimes I'll get them like a couple days in a row and then I'll go like a week or so without them. So that's been here and there. I got a Charlie horse the other day, which I only get Charlie horses when I'm pregnant. And it's always like when I'm in bed and like I'm dead asleep and then it like wakes me out of sleep. So I got a Charlie horse, but like I was able to stop it before it got too bad. So that did happen. I haven't been craving anything because I've just been nauseous. <laughs> so, I um, haven't really been craving anything. I have been eating a lot of apples because they just sound so good. So yeah, those are like my favorite things and I really like pretzels. I've been eating a lot of pretzels. I like things that are very bland in taste, like nothing too crazy. So like plain waffles, I eat those every morning for breakfast or just like a peanut butter bagel, like I'll eat that. Or I, I eat a lot of Cheerio um, cereals. Um, those are pretty good because they're very bland. So that's kind of what I like right now. Sometimes I find that I can't eat as much, like my belly just gets so full. And then other times I feel like I'm constantly hungry and I'm always eating. So it just, it's never the same. I'm still exhausted. Um, every night I'm so tired when I go to bed and then even like usually midday I get pretty tired and ever since I got pregnant coffee really doesn't sound good to me some days I'll have a cup like maybe I'll have one today so that doesn't sound too bad but most days like I can't even think about coffee like it doesn't sound good at all which is crazy because before I got pregnant I had like a cup of coffee every day but this time it's like, I know I'm exhausted, but coffee doesn't even sound good to me. I don't believe I felt the baby kick at all. I know they say the more times you're pregnant, the earlier you feel it. But like the baby is the size of a fig. But I do feel twinges down there, but I can't, I can't decipher if it's the baby or if I'm just like having muscle twinges or something. It's just so hard to know, but I have been feeling certain things but i can't believe it's the baby the baby is so tiny right now i don't know i go to um my next doctor's appointment a week from monday so like a week and a couple days so i'm excited to go to that we'll hear the heartbeat for the first time which will be fun and just get a checkup on how everything's going and how i'm measuring so i'm looking forward to that i find that i'm really not thirsty a lot the nausea makes me not even want to like drink fluids at all um before i got pregnant i would drink uh like meal flavored water all the time like i have a huge jug that i just carry around with me because i just drink so much and then ever since i got pregnant and started feeling nauseous i just hardly i maybe go through maybe one jug a day if that I just really, the only thing that I really, really love to drink is apple juice. I can't get enough apple juice. I just love it. 
So um, I definitely drink my apple juice in the morning, but then I struggle the rest of the day to like keep hydrated. I think that's gonna be about it. I think my camera's about to die anyway. <laughs> So um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tune in. I'm hoping to do as many updates as I can. I guess I won't commit to weekly, but definitely stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, if you're interested in seeing, I'll keep my shirt on, but maybe I'll just show you. I just feel like, I just feel like my belly feels huge. Like this is 11 weeks and I look way bigger than 11 weeks. So. Here that is for you. I don't know if it's just like belly from previous pregnancies or what, but I just feel huge. <laughs>